Hi, I'm Barnes, and today we're going to be talking about Mandelbrot and the Mandelbrot set. And the reason why Mandelbrot was such an important mathematician is because in 1980, he invented this formula that allows you to create beautiful pictures known as fractals, just like this. And I'm going to show you how you can make some of your own. But I'm also going to talk a little bit about why they're much more meaningful than just a few pretty pictures. When we look at Mandelbrot's images, we could see how the spirals seem to have a life of their own, much like nature. For instance, dendrites, snowflake crystals, plants, biochemicals, ocean life, snails, and more all seem to have these structured repeating patterns. Mandelbrot was well known for a theory he called roughness and self-similarity in nature. Because of their seeming ability to create very organic and lifelike patterns, Fractals can almost seem like they're a form of artificial intelligence. Well, in fact, the Mandelbrot set is not related to AI, but the images do inspire you to think about the power of computers and their ability to create new forms of art and to be able to mimic life in certain ways. Let's look at a simple Python program that implements Mandelbrot's set using TensorFlow and a few other easy to install modules. I suggest you use Anaconda to manage your Python packages and set up a separate environment just for this project. We'll then go to GitHub and look for this program called the TensorFlow Fractal Playground, which you can see shows you various ways to create different patterns of fractals on your own. After installing all the requirements, we can open up the mandelbrot.py file and edit a few parameters, as well as play with some of the key formula numbers and see what happens. And we can change the image size as well. Here at the Anaconda command prompt, I'm going to enter my dedicated Anaconda environment for this project. And then I simply type python space mandelbrot.py. And you could see the version of TensorFlow I'm using, which is 1.15 is the GPU version which runs much faster, but it displays a lot of messages relating to the GPU. And in almost no time at all, the program produces an image just like this. The variety of patterns that you can make yourself are endless. If you look below in the description, there's more details about this project. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.